All right, welcome back to the channel. So today is an update video on Surge Graph. They have just come out with their uh, image creator inside of the AI content generator. Um, no, it is not free, but uh, I imagine this uh, costs resources uh, in order to get these images uh, created. So, uh, but I do think that they have done a good job with the pricing. You're going to get up to 150 images for only five dollars a month. So if you came in here, you would just add that. Um, add on right there. If you already have a plan, you can just do add on packages uh, for the content. And of course, you can add on different packages right here, like $10 a month. And for 1200 images a month, $25 a month, right? So um, you do have to pay the uh, for the images, but I wanted to just go and try it out right live right in front of you. I have not used mine. So I'm going to go click log into my account. And like I said, I have not even tried these. So we'll go into one of my articles that I have written uh, right over here, like uh, entry level remote email marketing jobs or boat rental. Um, I actually want to go with boat rental. I want to see what images it can create for the boats on this article, right? So we're going to go over here and it looks like they have the featured image right over here. You can choose from a gallery or um, let's see right over here. So generate image, we can go and use that um, or we can. Um, so it looks like that's like a prompt, right? If we choose from gallery, we can actually put our prompt in right here. We can actually choose how many images we can choose what size, um, it's going to choose the 1200 by 364 WordPress. Um, uh, but you can change that size if you want, and then you can cha change the kind or the type of image. Um, but I'm going to go over here and just say auto generate with AI and we'll try that. So one image. Uh, style photographic. We'll just go with that. And then we will just go boom right there and say generate. So that's kind of the quick uh, button uh, where it's just going to create an image probably based on um, the content. It's going to scan the content or maybe the title or something. And it's going to just create the image for us here in a second. So we'll be back in just a minute. Okay. So it's been 15 to 30 seconds and I'm going to go, at, it doesn't automatically populate. You go to the choose from gallery right here. And then it, it, it created one image for us. Cause that's what we selected. We only wanted one image. Uh, that looks pretty cool. So you can uh, select this image. You can use this as a featured image. Uh, you can download the image. You can uh, delete the image and you can reuse the image prompt that we'll use another credit though. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just use the featured image right there. And we've got a nice uh, boat image right there. So pretty cool. So then we could come through here and factors to consider before starting a uh, boating business. Maybe we want to go like this and push return right here. And then you can come up here to the top and push image. We can add from the gallery we already have or um, the AI gallery, or you can upload an image from there. So right here, I'm going to select the AI gallery. We already know we have one image created in there, but we need to go and um, what I'll do is actually close out of that. And let's just say, um, let's just highlight this, even though it's um, kind of have some text that might not make a good image, but I just want to test this out and see what it's going to grab from the uh, subheading, right? So just throw that in right there. And we have a, a photographic. Maybe this time we'll try something different. Maybe we'll try just auto and see what it comes up with for us. And then we'll say, I'll just stick with one image and generate. So now it says your image is in progress. It should take up to about 30 seconds to complete. Feel free to close the pop-up and so forth, right? So um, I'm going to leave this pop-up um, and I'm not sure. So we have down here, you can see on the left. Okay. So it does automatically populate. And then down here to the lower left, if we were, if we were to exit out of this pop-up um, down here to the lower left, you'll see that your image is done based on this little um, task bar over here. It says one of one is finished. So they do a good job at notifying you when the image is done <clears throat> right here. It automatically uh, came on our screen right here as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. So right here, we would just say we want to use this right here and then it inserts it into the post right there. Uh, that's a really cool image. So definitely the quality of the images are, you know, mid journey type mid journey uh, worthy. I like that. You can come in here and we can add our, um, alt text, maybe just grab the uh, subheading left click is all I'm doing right here and then control V and then save changes. So then you have your alt text right there um, is set up, right? So that's how you would go and add images. Maybe we want to add one more um, right over here. So that was the auto. <clears throat> and then maybe we just come down and maybe we want one more uh, over here, right over here, like right here, we'll go image and we'll just go with one more just to show you. So Actually, no, let's go and exit out of this because I only have a couple more images to show you. So I'm going to go back to search 
Um, and let's go over to the email uh, one right over here. And I want to go with auto generate. It does seem like it uh, keeps your gallery. So it'll always have images that you've already created, which is super, super cool. But we're going to go over here, auto generate again. Um, this is going to be auto generate. So that's a cool feature that they have specifically for the featured image, which is kind of a minimum, right? You always want to at least have a featured image. Um, and so I like that they have a quick access button right here. Uh, we have photographic, we have a cinematic, we have, um, I want to see, I want to go with uh, the cinematic look this time. And we're just going to say generate. So what I think it does, it does take that entry level remote. Uh, I'm going to push got it right here. And then we can watch down here when this hits two of two, I believe that means that the image is done. Um, but it's probably taken the title entry level remote email marketing jobs, discover opportunities. We'll see what it comes up with. I don't know if it's going to have humans in this, um, or email or something like that, but it'll be cool. So you can see right there, we got the notification. So we can go in here to the choose from the gallery. And then here is what we got. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just choose that. And you can see it's not perfectly straight right there. And then the text is no good. So this is the, what you're going to get with uh, any kind of AI that's really annoying. And uh, one of my main niches is business and, um, you know, making money online and so forth. You know, it, it doesn't do a good job with email marketing right there. So I would have to come in here and um, that use one of my images as well. Right. So I'm going to remove this. I don't like that. Um, it doesn't look good. So we're going to have to go and actually what I would do is click the image button, click the AI prompt, and then just say, I'm just going to say business uh, photographic, I think is working the best. And then just say generate. And let's just see what it comes up with, with business. Um, unfortunately we just need generic business um, because it's going to do really good with cars and vehicles and boats and uh, animals and so forth but it just doesn't do good with anything that has to do with text or um, I don't think that it does it, you know, it's, it's hit and miss with, uh, with humans, but definitely with text, it doesn't do a good job with. Um, and that's with any of these AI writers. So like right over here, the, this is a really weird image right over here. Um, I don't know if I would even go with that. Look at the fingers and so forth. I mean, th and this is not business, right? So I don't know where it got business for us right here. So, it's kind of hit and miss. Um, and you're, you're burning up your credits, uh, while you're using that. So that's something I don't like. I think, um, uh, where does it keep track of, you know, because if I go into our a gallery, we now have four images that we've created. So, uh, I want to go and just try one more time right here. Actually, let's go try another, um, article. How much did Top Gun Maverick make? That one might be kind of cool. Let's go in there and auto generate the featured image and just say generate. So you can just click two buttons and it starts creating. Um, I like that feature and we'll see down here four of four cause it's keeping track of how many you have. So four of four, we can choose right here and, um, you know, how much money. So it just gave us a stack of money, which is somewhat relevant, but the dollars don't look, um, that great. So again, you know, it's not the most impressive thing, um, when it comes to the AI and so forth, as far as, um, how accurate the images are going to be, it depends on what niche you're in. That's my final thought on this. Uh, like I said, if you're in architecture, you're in uh, animals, um, you're in you know, abstract type, um, markets, then it's going to do well. If you're in anything that has to do with business or, uh, realism, realistic, um, I don't think it's going to do that well with, um, and a lot of the other AI writers, the same, I'm not happy with the images as well in this, uh, business market or this big business niche that I'm in, but I just wanted to get this out there. Um, in case you picked up surge graph and you haven't used it in a while, they did come out with the images. I think it's a pretty easy workflow to, uh, you know, add an image. It's nice that you can go in and have AI create your image. You're just going to have to find what works best for the website that you're creating. So you can start getting some good images most of the time where you can kind of hit 90% um, of the images that it creates that you'll be able to use those images, right? So now overall, I think this is a great option. Um, it certainly beats uh, having to pay for stock images. They all will be unique, but of course it has its downsides as well, as far as just uh, some of the awkwardness and of a lot of the images in business. So there'll be a link below if you want to go check out search graph. If you haven't uh, checked it out, 
I think this is a really good um, all-in-one for a really low cost. Um, it's a pretty uh, good AI content generator software. It's not, um, you know, my top recommended, but it definitely will get the job done and you will get a lot out of it because of the low cost and the unlimited content and all the different features and the optimizations and the keyword research that you get in this. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. I guess I was just going to add in after I was uh, almost ready to render the video. Um, my thoughts were, I wanted to ask you guys, if you made it this far, awesome. Um, the question is, is do you think that this is a step forward for a surge graph um, as far as, you know, they are charging for the images? Because um, I'm pretty sure that if we go into like agility um, or SEO writing uh, AI, they are also pretty much accounting for the images and they're basically charging you for the images as well. So, um, you know, Surge Graph has already had their pricing um, in place. And so in order to add a feature like this, it is going to cost resources. Um, they do have to figure out how to establish a, a way to launch that. And I think that this image creation one is a tough one for these AI content uh, developers because um, I do think that it uh, costs resources and so forth to do this. What are your guys' thoughts on, um, do you think that this is a good step forward? Are you okay? Do you think that they have good pricing? Do you think that it should be no, you shouldn't have to pay for the images? Or um, do you think that it's um, fair or do you think it's too expensive? Just wanted to get that question. Have you made it all the way to this end? Leave a comment below your thoughts on this um, update from Surge and overall what your opinion on the um, on charging for the AI images is. I mean, anywhere you go to get Im AI images, you've got to pay mid journey to do that. You've got to pay for um, a lot of these places in order to get the, the good AI images, right? So just wanted to get your guys' thoughts. All right, thanks.